Jesus Christ, are you thirsty today? Because I don't want another religion in my life. I left religion, I left Islam. I hate it. I just want to be free. I just want to be free. And then something happens to that person, a touch or a breeze or in a form of a wind. I know it is Jesus. Maybe you are sitting here today and you are saying, I need that transformation because I don't want to be stuck in this place anymore. Now this is the biggest harvest time. This is the revival time for God to come and change everything. Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Embracing New Life. And today I am Ushika Abla with you, with a special guest. We are talking about Jesus' miracles. We worship a God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we are not talking about only his miracles 2,000 years ago. We are talking about the continuous power, resurrection power, life-giving power, miraculous power of Jesus Christ. How many of you need a miracle today? I, I feel like I can hear you. You need a miracle. You, maybe you are facing a circumstance and you need God in that circumstance. You need, you need a miracle. Maybe you have been going through the same circle over and over, same mountain. You have been going around that mountain for so long. And today is the day God is speaking. I feel like God is speaking through me to you. It's time to enter into the promised land. Too long. You have been around the same mountain. You have been in and out of the doctor's offices too long. Too long you have been struggling with that marriage or with that weight or with your children's addictions. You have been going around that mountain too long. Today is the day I feel in my spirit. I am going to hear from you after this program. You are going to say, I entered into my promised land. I am not around that mountain anymore. God doesn't want to give you only strength to climb those mountains. He wants to remove it. You don't have to climb it anymore in Jesus name. I have a very special guest today and I am so, I am like put on your seat belts people because we are introducing you new normal, supernatural becoming part of your lives. And I have David Turner, welcome David from David Turner International Ministries. Thank you so much for having me today. I am so excited. Every time I talk with you, I feel like, okay, I'm, I'm in the next level of faith. Every time I hear the testimony you share mm -hmm. I go to the next level of faith in in my heart and ministry so it, we need each other we need to hear these testimonies and people need to hear so so thankful that you are doing the work that you are doing for the kingdom of God thank you oh thank you I'm so glad to be here and you know that is it you know the Bible talks in Ezekiel 47 how we might dip our toe in the water, but then eventually to our ankle, to our knees, to our waist, to our shoulders, but eventually we can swim in the knowledge of Jesus. Amen. There's always more. There's always deeper and yes. more that we can walk in. Yes, he wants us to dive in. Absolutely. He wants us to completely be soaked in the presence of the Holy Spirit, right? Absolutely. Awesome. Yes. So the last programs, we talk about your testimony, how you met the miraculous power of God, how it is at work through your ministry. And I, I am just hungry for more. Coming from Muslim background, mm. I mean, when you say the keyword Jesus, miracles, you are talking about the passwords right now that, that is just getting everybody's attention. Yeah. And you have this amazing book that I started reading and I couldn't put, in the, put it down last night. Yeah. Even after late hours, I was like just digging deeper, seeds of faith. Yeah. And this is, I feel like this is what you do. Yeah. You, you're like this farmer and throwing these seeds of faith and testimonies and introducing people to a next level uh, living because you've been long years 
in, in the same old, same old. And then when you came out of that with, with an encounter, yes. now you have that passion yes. to introduce people to next level with God, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Please yes. tell us about that lady that uh, God gave you a vision before your meeting that she was praying on the floor on her knees. Yes, it was a wonderful experience. I was going to a meeting, mm -hmm. and many of my meetings aren't typical church meetings. This is people will get healed and they'll invite me to their business. And this was a printing company and they opened up their warehouse and said, will you come and pray for the people? So uh, I was going, I was uh, the night before I was going, I always pray God, what is, he shows me a message or a word. I don't have the same thing I speak place to place. Yes. I pray and God gives me a rhema, a right now word for those people. Yes. So I'm praying and God shows me what the word is for the day and the message. And then the Holy Spirit shows me, he says, tomorrow there's gonna be a woman uh, at this meeting who is about 40 years old. She has cancer. She's going to about to die within days. In fact, he said she's actually by her bed right now praying and crying out to me. So when you go to the meeting tomorrow, I want you to say, is there a 40 year old woman here who has cancer about to die? And last night you were on your knees praying to Jesus. And uh, that was very specific. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, and tell her, fear not daughter, you'll be healed. So. After the next day I show up and I'm looking around the room, there's about 60 people and 30 of them are men, only 30 women. And out of those 30 women, maybe four could be around 40. So I'm thinking the odds of this are not very good. Yes. But you know, God is faithful. After my message, I asked, I said exactly that. Is there a woman here with cancer, about 40 years old, who is about to die and was on your knees crying out to Jesus last night? This woman raises her hand and she comes forward crying. And she said literally that, I was crying last night mm -hmm. to Jesus to heal me. And I was by my bed kneeling down. I had such faith at that moment because I knew God had seen. And, you know, we know, for example, in the Bible, it says Genesis 16, 13. He is El Roy, the God who sees. Yes. And we read a story about how he saw Hagar and how he touched her and saved her child Ishmael and all of that. But, but it's harder to translate that to today to realize, wow, the God of heaven and earth with 7 billion people on this planet mm -hmm. knew that this daughter oh. was by her bed crying out. It really makes the words come to life. Isaiah 58 verse nine, he says, call on my name and I'll say, lo, I am here. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 63 verse nine, he says, in all your affliction, I am afflicted. Isaiah 25 verse eight, he says, I came to wipe away the tears from the face of my people. Mm -hmm. So Jesus sent me that day to be his hands and feet to wipe away the tears from this daughter because he saw her by her bed. And that to me excites me because I'm like, wow, mm -hmm. literally not 2000 years ago when he walked the earth, not in this story with Hagar at the Bible, but with Abraham, but right now Jesus hears and sees everything. And for mm. some people that could be frightening, but, <laughs> yes, yes. But, it, but it's wonderful because he's so loving and so forgiving and so merciful. So he overlooks our iniquity. He forgives us mm. when we ask, but he's there for our needs. So literally this woman, she comes forward and her husband was there with her. He had never been in a church in his life mm. and didn't believe. That day he got saved and he believed Jesus. Hallelujah. I prayed for his wife. He saw the, the miracle and the word of God. And I said, daughter, the Lord saw you. He said, do not worry, you're healed. She had gone to Mayo Clinic. It's the biggest cancer hospital in the mm. country, one of the top you. And she had records as, you know, deep as can be of, of all the documentation. This cancer was a type of cancer, her skin, it was eating it off of her bones. She, she was bleeding and her skin is literally falling off. Like someone took cigars and put it out all over her body yes. and she's bleeding. And we had pictures of her afterwards. She sent them to mm -hmm. us. Just her skin was ravaged. I prayed for her that day and said, daughter, fear not. I get a call about six days later. She had gone back to Mayo Clinic. They said, we don't understand. There's no cancer. They didn't even think she would live six more days. There's no cancer. Within another week, all the spots went away. Her skin was perfectly Hallelujah. normal. How awesome is that? Yeah, that's the goodness of Jesus. Yes. I mean, we have to believe you know, one time I want to tell you this, uh, one thought leads to another. I love sure, sharing testimonies. I love it. The very first time I was, I had prayed for people with headaches, with uh, uh, um, breathing problems, whatever it was, and they were getting healed. 
all of a sudden they bring me a person with cancer. And I said, oh, Jesus, don't make me pray for this person. As if like it was too difficult. Mm -hmm. And I knew Jesus as the healer, not me, but still, I, somehow I felt like this person, if they died, it would be my fault <laughs> and hurt my batting average, yes. you know, like, but it was funny because I prayed, Jesus, don't make me pray for this man. And I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit. You know what he said to me? He said, David, if I can heal a hangnail, mm. I can cure cancer and raise the dead. He said, it's either neither or both. Wow. You make the choice. And it actually goes to something you said that, you know, God is limited only by us. He's unlimited God, but yes. we limit him. And he can only move in our life according to the level we will allow him to move. What he was saying to me, is he the healer? Of course he is. Can mm -hmm. he do everything? Of course. He formed and fashioned us in our mother's womb. Psalm 139, verse 13. Yes. He can do anything. He spoke the world into place, Hebrews 11, 3. Of course he can. But yet, if we think he can't, in our life, he can't. So what was he saying to me? He was saying, yes. I can heal a hangnail. I can cure cancer and raise the dead. It's neither or both. What he was saying, because we know it's both, mm -hmm. but why is it neither or both? Because if I think it's neither, then he can't do anything for me. That's he right. can't use me. But if I think it's both, then we can maximize what he is able to do. That's so so the key is no matter, we can't think like, oh, I have cancer. Oh yeah, but that was a headache and this is a, God can do everything. Amen. There's nothing, story after story, I have a blind eyes have opened, deaf ears have opened. People have been cured of cancer. Um, I see, I mean, I just, I love sharing the goodness sure. and the testimony of God. Um, uh, I want to share one other testimony with you guys. I, I feel like this is going to encourage someone today. You know, one of the gifts God has given me is uh, uh, when I pray for barren people and they're not able to have children and conceive, I which is it. so many people, they want children and it's devastating when you can't. Mm -hmm. So. One day I get a call from a pastor that was in the town where I lived and he knew of me and uh, he asked me to come and pray for this couple that was mm -hmm. barren. Their names were Lori and Edward. And Lori and Edward couldn't have a child. They tried for years. Nothing worked, all the tests, all the, the medicines, whatever you mm -hmm. take or uh, things that they do. Couldn't have a child. Mm -hmm. So they asked me to come and pray. and. Uh, she was a strong Christian. He was very marginal, like kind of believed would go to church, but very basic faith. Yes. When I'm driving over there and, and what they told me was not only they're barren, they not only want to have a child, but they're asking God for twins. And they're so audacious. They not only were asking for twins, but a boy and a girl. <laughs> so you talk about being very specific. I was like, wouldn't you just be happy to have a child? But they wanted twins, a boy and a girl. <laughs> So I'm going there and they told me this and as I'm driving, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, the reason they're barren is not because of her, it's actually him. And what he said is, the Holy Spirit said, there's a generational curse because his father yes, okay. committed adultery. Wow. And what's interesting is I didn't know why the Lord was showing me that. Sometimes he'll show me a general curse, mm -hmm. generational curse, but not always why. Mm -hmm. So I get there and I tell him I'm gonna pray. And I told them exactly that. The barrenness is not because of her, it's because of you. And it's because you have a generational curse because your father committed adultery. Well, it he was in shock. It turns out that he knew that that was true, but he had never told anyone, not even his wife knew that, that his father had committed adultery. What that did is it raised his faith through the roof because now he, he knew that it was from God because nobody could have known that. So I prayed, I break the barrenness. Mm -hmm. Within two weeks, they're pregnant <gasps> with twins. Find out several weeks later, a boy and a girl. Hallelujah. Can you imagine? Yes. But this isn't the end of the story. This is the beginning of the story. So they call me about six weeks later. The one baby, the girl has Down syndrome. Oh. The Holy Spirit speaks to me and says, tell them the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel who opened your womb hmm. can heal this Down syndrome. So do not fear, believe. I prayed over them, gave them the word from God. Um, eight weeks later, I'm in India. I'm about to get on stage and speak and I get a text message, went to the doctor, no Down syndrome. Hallelujah. Healed. <laughs> 
Yes. Another several months go by. Now it's nine months later. I'm not even thinking about him in my office. Uh, I'm at home working, and I get this phone call at noon, like a panic phone call. It's Edward calling me. David, don't speak. Let me tell you what's going on. We're in the hospital. Lori's giving birth. The first baby, the boy is born. He is healthy, but the girl died in the womb. So I said, right there, I said, the Holy Spirit is in that room right now. Do not panic. He is with you. Everything's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. They were rushing her in to um, do a C-section, into mm -hmm. surgery. And she had the awareness to tell her husband, hand them the cell phone and say, call David Turner. So that's mm -hmm. why he called me. He tells yes. me this. So I'm, I start praying. And all of a sudden, I'm praying. And I felt such a power of God right through the phone. Mm -hmm. And I could feel it. And all of a sudden, literally, it was seven minutes you can imagine how long. Sure. And all of a sudden, I heard the doctors in the background yelling, we've got a pulse. We've got a pulse. Hallelujah. <laughs> then all of a sudden, the, the baby had been like purple. And all of a sudden, we're getting color. <laughs> and then before you know it, a couple minutes went by, and the baby's breathing, and the baby's alive. Yes, I'm crying. Seven <laughs> minutes. So what do you think the doctor said? Huh. You know what? Don't get your hopes up. Seven minutes, there's going to be total brain damage. Mm -hmm. I'm on the other phone. I'm yelling at them. The same God who broke the barrenness, Hallelujah. the same God who healed the Down syndrome, mm -hmm. the same God who raised this child to life. The same God is not going to allow his glory to be stolen. This child will be healthy. I start praying. Those children are about nine years old today and Hallelujah. perfectly healthy. <laughs> How Amen. wonderful. How wonderful. But you see, First of all, it teaches me several things. Number one, we have to be specific with God. Then when we are and we stand on the promise and we believe, mm -hmm. the enemy will come in and always try to make it seem like whatever God says, the opposite is happening. That's right. I never get discouraged. When I see it go the opposite, that's my sign that God's doing it because <laughs> yeah. the enemy's coming in and trying to steal it. That's good. So I always believe. The more, it, it's always 180 degrees. I always tell people, stop praying for my business to do well. As soon as you do, it feels like every, I lose all my business. <laughs> <laughs> but, you get under it, but it always comes full circle. No, That's God it. always blesses and he always fulfills his word. Mm -hmm. But we have to stand in faith. Mark 9, 23, all things are possible to him who believes. Amen. He said, John 14, 12, that we can do greater things than Jesus. It's not us. It's 1 John 4, 4. Greater is he, the Holy Spirit, who's in us than he who's in the world. So I encourage all the people that are watching today, yes. all the people that follow you to know, believe Jesus. Do not doubt. Yes. You can doubt your doubt. Don't doubt your God. That's right. With God, all things are possible. I love it. And I want to speak to people right now before David starts praying one thing, you know, one testimony after another, I know that your faith is right now rising within you and God is ready to move in your life. And we are go going to come against generational curses, generational curses of barrenness. And also, he, right now, wherever you are, remember the first testimony. That lady was on her knees and she was praying in despair. She was praying. I mean, she was about to die of cancer. And God sent someone to tell her, God saw you. Yeah. And right now, you're in a room, maybe you're watching this broadcast in a desert in Morocco on your cell phone, wherever you are, God sees you. Yes. You are not abandoned. You are not forsaken. He knows your name. Yeah. And just because he loves you so much, He's going to do it right now, not tomorrow. What about now? He's going to do it right now for you. And another thing I learned from the te his, his testimony is be very specific. God cares for every detail of your prayer request. Whatever is in your heart right now, maybe you are looking for a spouse and you have been praying. Tonight, let's sign and seal it. Maybe you have been praying for baby and that baby hasn't come yet. Maybe it has been healing again that we have been talking in your life and you just feel dry. It can be finances, it can be anything. So we are going to turn to our creator, our maker, Jehovah Jireh, Yahweh,
God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob. We are going to turn to him right now, Jesus Christ, the God of miracles. And you are going to receive your miracle. Just be spe specific so right now as David is going to pray for you. Be very specific and receive it. Open your heart with faith. Receive it in Jesus' name. Please speak to them Amen. and start praying over them in Jesus' name. Amen. Right now, you just, you Hallelujah. be believing. You look to the cross. The power is in the cross of Jesus Christ right now, his birth, death, and resurrection. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the God of heaven and earth. You are the living God. You said, Revelation 118, behold, I lived, I died. Now I live forever. Lord Jesus, we believe you. We trust you. You are the son of God. You are the lamb of God slain for the sins of the world. Thank you, God. You have mercy and compassion. And you said, you said, ask and it shall be given. Matthew 7, 7, Luke 11, 9. So Lord Jesus Christ, we're asking you right now. We're not asking right now for silver and gold. We're asking for your presence, for your mercy, for your grace, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, right now, God, pour out your spirit upon your children. Right now, the fire anointing of God coming upon you, the hand of the Lord coming upon you. Right now, a resurrection power, fire anointing of the Holy Spirit. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, God, whatever the needs of the children of God, in the name of Jesus, as they cry out to you, oh, Lord Jesus, you came to wipe away their tears. You are afflicted in all their affliction. Lord Jesus Christ, every barrenness, I break it in the children of God in the name of Jesus. They must be fruitful and multiply. Lord Jesus, every sin be forgiven. Oh God, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind, rebuke, and destroy the work of the enemy. Every right now demonic spirit be lifted off of their lives. Right now I bind Satan, Lucifer, thief, roaring lion, one third of the fallen angels. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ, every unclean medium, familiar spirit, lying spirit, seducing spirit, false spirit, spirit of infirmity, divination, spirit of fear. Right now, come off of them in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak total and complete healing. God, right now, the spirit of barrenness be broken, the spirit of poverty be broken. God, open the windows of heaven, shut the gates of hell. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against them be condemned. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, I break every generational curse. I break every witchcraftic power, every right now voodoo, witchcraft, African sanctuary that's been done against them. I cut it off of their life with the double-edged sword of the spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. You are the resurrection. You are the resurrection. You are the life. I speak life and life abundantly into the children of God. Right now, breath of God, breathe into their lungs. Body of Jesus Christ, be upon their body. Holy Spirit, be upon their spirit. Right now, every depression, oh, suppression, regression, right now, be gone in the name of Jesus. Every foothold, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, right now, every discouragement, despair, every suicidal thoughts right now, come out in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, spirit of joy, spirit of grace, spirit of peace. Oh, right now, spirit of the Lord, spirit of wisdom, knowledge, counsel, understanding, a spirit of might, spirit of fear, be, be upon them. Now, in the name of Jesus, I cast out every cancer, cell, bone, blood, body chemistry, hormonal disorders, AIDS, Alzheimer's, MS, fatigue, anorexia, bulimia, hypochondria. I heal the headaches. I open the blind eyes. Mm. Deaf ears be open right now. Mercy of God. I heal the teeth right now. Oh, God. God, in the name of Jesus, the skin be healed, eyes be healed, allergies be healed. I heal the cervical cord, the necks be healed, back pain be gone. Right now, I heal. Right now, the back, the scoliosis come out, the sciatic nerves be healed, the disc be healed. Right now, kidneys, liver, gallbladder. Right now, pancreas be healed, female issues be healed, urinary tract, hemorrhoids, the feet, the gout. Lord Jesus, be healed, ulcers be healed. Right now, MS be healed in the name of Jesus, all the body weaknesses. Lord Jesus Christ, right now, touch the children of God. Mm. Fire of God, angels of God pulling mm. out the arrows of the enemy. Oh, right now, power mm. of God is upon you. Fire of God is upon you. Emergency, peculiar anointing. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Oh, right now, any lupus mm. be healed. Any diseases be healed. Mm. Oh, right now, broken hearts be healed. Oh, God, right now, you bring those who want a spouse. God, not just anybody, but 
But God, the person you've ordained for that person in the name of Jesus Christ, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I heal broken marriages. I heal the relationships between children and their parents in the name of Jesus. God, release wisdom and knowledge upon the children, God. Favor. Lord Jesus, you said, Isaiah 65, 22 and 24, you said, Lord Jesus, no longer will they build houses for others to live or plant for others to eat. But as the day of the tree will be the days of your people, they will not, their work will not be toiled in vain, but they will be blessed, O God. They will not bear children doomed for misfortune, that they will be the blessed of the Lord. From this day, I declare it in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, you said the next verse, uh, Isaiah 64, verse 25, before you ask, I will answer. While you are speaking, I will hear. God, hear the children of God right now, whatever they're mm. crying to you right now. Lord Jesus, let it happen in their life. I declare it right now in the name of Jesus. I heal them and set them free. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. John 8, verse 36. I declare them free right now, healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, how wonderful, how powerful. And uh, just like David prayed and he said, there's no difference of healing the migraine or healing the cancer or AIDS or MS. And while he was praying, I, uh, Holy Spirit uh, just was speaking to me. I feel like telling you there are generational curses broken while he was praying Amen. over you. Because some of you speak, don't speak like that because you're activating generational curses when you say things like, oh, my father had high cholesterol. You know, I have high cholesterol. My mother was diabetics. I have diabetes. You, you're activating what is in your DNA, but it is not activated until you speak it. That is your fate when you say they have, they had it. I had it. But it's not too late. While he was praying, God reminded me that he broke off generational curses that coming. Maybe uh, your father died of a heart attack. Uh, I'm speaking to someone right now. I, you have a heart problem, and you ha you are living with that fear right now and God completely wants to remove that fear from you that you are not going to die like your father you are not going to be like your mother and your father God is giving you a new destiny today so you don't have to worry about oh my parents were like that I am going to be no no that's a lie and don't buy into that lie in the name of Jesus Christ we command to your generation curses to be completely broken of you in Jesus Christ's name amen, amen. just say amen. amen and we put a bloodline of Jesus Christ between you and your ancestors between you and your parents your children yourself and your ancestors we put a bloodline of Jesus Jesus Christ. Those generational curses cannot touch you. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen, amen. and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell me. Before I came here, I was struggling with like doing things with my back. It would hurt to just move at all, so I had to stay in one spot. It it was just it was restricting me from doing a lot. Like and I started to get a little depressed kind of because I felt like life wouldn't be the same and I didn't want it to be like that forever. Okay, right there. I'm believing when we're done, you'd be touching your toes. You ready for that? Come on, Jesus can do it, right? My, my back just, I felt it just rest. And I felt no pain at all. It was for you right now. I release you in the name of Jesus. Start to just gently bend down, just up and down, up and down. Just let your body go. Right now, in the name of Jesus. If that's all you can go, just come back up. It's okay. We'll see it in a minute. That's huge from where you were. You can, you can tell, can't you? God's doing it right now. I know. He's just, he's showing off. He's going to do it in parts. Lord Jesus, right now, God, be glorified as he touches his toes. Right now in the and all of a sudden, after he was done praying, I was able to touch the ground, and I wasn't even able to do that before my back was, but like, before I had no pain anyway. Up and down, up and down, right now, up and down, come on, you can do it, side to side, glory, glory. I feel like I've been broken today. In Psalms, it says, the Lord will break a man before he uses a man. And 
I've been praying for the longest time just so I can finally start doing what God wants me to do. It was amazing. I, I couldn't fathom. I just had to thank God and believe that He healed me. So now I just got to accept everything that He tells me to do, really. <laughs> This program is made possible by friends and partners of Ishik Abla Ministries. If you'd like to support our ministry, please go to our website at www.ishikabla.com. There you can make a secure tax-deductible donation. Our vision is to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ with a message of salvation, freedom, and healing for the transformation of the Muslim world and bring revival to the body of Christ. We thank you for your support.